Hey guys, it's Melissa. Welcome back to my channel, Beauty in the Bypass. So it's been a hot minute since I made a video. I had actually made a few and then just ended up not posting them. Why? Because I'm lazy and didn't feel like editing them. Also, I watched my last one and I was like, damn, she's like really boring. Um, my emotions were just like not there. So I decided not to post those. Um, but just like a little recap of kind of what's been going on since my last video, which pretty much was talking about my surgery. Um, I have been on a full liquid diet for the past, I want to say 12 days and that has been a rough life. So right after surgery, you go on clear liquids, which is like the first day after surgery and then after that you're on a full liquid diet which means everything that you consume needs to be liquid form where you're just swallowing no chewing required at all um for those 12 days i had to pretty much like log down what i was drinking not necessarily what time but i did it that way um and like how much of it technically we're still supposed to only consume one ounce like every 10 to 15 minutes i have a kitchen timer here that i had bought to time myself every 15 or 10 minutes at first i started out with every 15 minutes i would drink something and then um after my first meeting with my dietitian she was like okay we need to figure out a way to get you to consume more liquids um so I told her, okay, maybe I'll try waking up earlier and then also drinking like every 10 minutes instead of um, 15, which did help maybe only like the last three days <laughs> just because it's a real pain to literally drink out of a little one ounce cup, which I surprisingly don't have one in here, I guess, because I stopped using that. Um, but yeah, the one ounce cup was just not cutting it for me. Um, and then having to just set the timer every 10 minutes, like it's a lot more tedious than it sounds. And they want us to try and consume between 48 to 64 um, ounces of liquid a day, <sighs> which was a lot. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to like sigh a lot throughout this video just because it actually takes a lot to talk. Um, it's not like painful or anything. It's just that like... I don't know like what the fuck like I'm not out of breath or whatever maybe I am out of breath just because I'm talking so much um but yeah whatever so with those two weeks the things that I was consuming was pretty much obviously water um I started trying crystal light or whatever sugar-free things that I can add to water just to make it a little different I would have water down poi um which if you don't know what that is, that's literally like the Hawaiian version of a potato. Um, normally, I really don't care for poi, I'm not gonna lie, especially the one that comes in a bag. Um, but there are a couple brands that actually taste really good, or not really good, they just taste better than the other one. But I'm not gonna lie, like when I first came out of surgery and was on the liquid diet, um, poi was actually something that I actually really liked but then for some reason like the last couple days that I had it my throat kind of started to feel like itchy I don't know what was happening but you know I got weird allergies so who knows what's going on um I would also have pudding which was usually either chocolate or pistachio I love pistachio pudding so that was good of course that had to be sugar-free I would also have um watered down cream of wheat was like a saving grace if i have cream of wheat i would normally have obviously like butter and sugar in it usually brown sugar but since i can't have sugar like that um i ended up putting in monk fruit so monk fruit's really good um alternative like usually people do splenda but no apparently i think monk fruit's better for you yes that does say that it came from ross because i'm cheap sometimes you know even though that says 6.99 which is expensive just kidding now nah, they carry it at like costco and sam's club now but before they didn't and i could literally only get it like at ross which was interesting but now i guess everybody's on the monk fruit kick so my mom actually 
discovered this and yeah we've been using like monk fruit ever since so if you are getting you know surgery or even just trying to be a bit healthier with your sugar that's the way to go um other than that as far as butter i was still of course trying to stay away from butter so i remember from when i was baking i would actually buy a powdered butter like butter flavoring i guess i don't know why i bought that honestly i think it was for like flavoring and like frosting or something i have no idea honestly but i remembered i had it in the cabinet so when my sister would make my cream of wheat i was like hey can you try put this in here maybe you know at least it'll give me the flavor but not the calories um and that actually has worked really good so i definitely recommend picking up some butter flavor powder i forget what the name of it is but i know it's in like a off whitish tube container with like a light blue top and yeah it's fat free so it's good because we definitely want to stay away from fats and sugars so that's awesome i would also have my protein shakes which i do still have some of the opti fast ones but i've actually switched to premier protein i've found that that brand is actually really good it's for most of them there are 30 grams of protein which when you're on the liquid diet you want to consume between 15 to 30 grams um, a day so you can literally get all your protein just from that one drink um promote the premier protein also has like a lot of different flavors so you know i think i've had the cookies and cream one which is actually pretty good i also had the cinnamon roll one which some people say that they don't like but i honestly like it to me it tastes like a mixture of tres leches and then the milk that is left from when you eat cinnamon toast crunch so it's good some people say that like it's too sweet for them but i mean to each his own you can water it down if you want whatever um and then i would also have cream soups so i did try cream of mushroom soup which i usually love when it's like in gravy and stuff like that not gonna lie not a fan of it <laughs> if you're trying to consume it as like an actual soup um any soups that we did have we do have to strain it because we're not supposed to have any chunks in there so i think my top soups were clam chowder um and then i think there was like a maybe a loaded baked potato one i had or something that one was really good and then also broccoli cheddar soup was really good also those were my favorite ones i would say i really i'm not gonna lie to you i fucking hate soup like i legitimately hate soup but you know when you're starving and you need a variety i guess it's fine um I also was able to have popsicles as long as it was sugar free. So the popsicle brand actually does make fudge sickles that are sugar free and regular popsicles fruit flavor. So I think the one I had had like black cherry, mixed berry and strawberry. So those are actually really good and refreshing because at least it's not just having to like drink stuff all day. Um, I also had the genius idea <laughs> that i was like okay cream soups mm, let's see what else i can do i love thai curry like yellow curry from thai restaurants like 10 out of 10 but certain thai restaurants do not make it that good in my opinion so i had wanted to get a thai curry i told my mom we were like yeah okay let's go get it so um i had gone to the beach because i wasn't in such a good mood one day i went to the beach to just sit there and be sad with myself and then after i was like okay i'm gonna go to this thai restaurant i'm gonna try put in the order i literally called the place like 10 times because google said it was open come to find out i go onto their facebook page they were closed um because they had new hours so i was like super sad super irritated but then i was like i'm determined to get my curry so i was just on like like uber eats and was like okay thai places that are open that are going to deliver to my house and i found a place that i've never tried before but their yellow curry was like 10 out of 10 not gonna lie so of course i had to pretty much only have the soup part of it but i'm not gonna lie to you i did have 
a little bit of potato because it was like super soft so i would say i consumed probably like an eighth of a potato maybe but of course that was broken up into like 30 minutes to an hour so it was actually really good and i was so so happy and i stomached it pretty well so um that was nice other than that i did also have like jello um i had strawberry jello that i had made because we can have that and it's like a really nice difference because you don't have to water it down or anything you can just eat it like that um and then I wanted strawberry banana jello which they didn't have that in sugar free so i actually made banana cream pie pudding mix and instead of using like almond milk i actually used my vanilla protein shake as the milk which is good because pudding literally has no protein in it so i did that and then i ended up putting the pudding on top of the strawberry jello which sounds kind of awkward but i'm not gonna lie to you it was actually really good um so I still have some of that in the fridge that I need to attempt to finish, um, which is difficult when you can only consume so much liquid at a time. And so um, I think that's pretty much it as far as the liquid diet. Um, I'm probably going to do two separate videos because this is going to be too long. I'm pretty sure I was already talking too much. As far as when I do drink, though, I'm not gonna lie to you <laughs> i know we talked about like gas in i think my last video whenever i drink liquids and sometimes with like the soup stuff too whenever i drink it i can feel it going down but then at the same time i can feel like air or gas bubbles come back up um it's not like i'm gonna throw up or anything it's just it's like a uncomfortable feeling for a little bit and then give it like maybe five seconds ten seconds then you can like feel like a burps coming up so there is definitely a lot of burping coming from me and the worst part is like i can't be classy about it necessarily because if i try to like burp quietly it's like the burp is still stuck and it's just yeah it's not pleasant so i'm not gonna lie she burps with no class like <laughs> you do what you gotta do <laughs> but yeah so that's that little tidbit for you and i just burped excuse me classless um i i think maybe the last couple days that i was on the liquid diet i gave up on the measuring <laughs> measuring the one ounce because i could already tell like as i was doing the one ounce thing that i like once I was getting towards the one ounce that's when I would start feeling kind of like the gas bubbles coming back up so I was like okay you know what if I can feel that then I'm just not even going to use that thing and I'll know when I'm like kind of full because you could feel if you're full but more so once those gas bubbles would come up I know I'm pretty much like hitting my limit for the time being um so instead I've been trying to just get like a bottled water and drink that as much as i can a day have my protein shake as well in another cup and have like cream of wheat in another cup or something else um and try and consume that all throughout the day i'm finding that a water bottle i don't know why this kind of water bottle is better for me to consume things from versus like if i were to use a hydro flask or like a regular cup i feel like maybe because I was like a bigger mouth on the cup or whatever I just want to chug so with surgery um or after surgery you can't use a straw either you shouldn't because it's going to give you additional air so that's going to cause even more discomfort with gas and stuff um but yeah so this bottle <laughs> has been very helpful to me um as you can tell it is pink so i do have like generic walmart quality crystal light that's sugar free um this one was guava i didn't even know they made that so i was super excited because i've been wanting some fruit and stuff and it's actually really good not gonna lie my timer is probably gonna go off pretty soon because um i need to drink but other than that i'm trying to think if there's anything else about the liquid diet i don't really think so but yeah 
other than that i think that's going to be it for this video because i do have to do an update um to you guys on what happened today so anyways thank you so much for watching i appreciate you joining me again don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel don't forget to pass it on to people that are struggling with their weight um thinking about getting surgery people that just want support on whatever weight loss journey that they're on um and yeah i'll see you guys in the next one thank you so much